Hello everyone, Delightful here. I like the novel and the new. So today, let's see what the indie world has for me and you. And today has some other world demo. Really cool art, right? Look at that. Oh, really cool pixel art. Fighting off the hordes of hell in this, pretty much. And this is a tower defense game. I know a lot of people like more tower defense. No, it's actually really good. Oh, there's difficulty levels too. I didn't even see that. I was playing on normal, and it's tough. It's hard. So it affects your modifiers. Starting money, so you get more money. Money is how you place towers. Angel health not connected to the gates. Normally it is connected to the gates, which is really cool. I'll talk about that. Yeah, so if you saw that there. The difficulty actually does spike up. Angel health to the gates. We'll show I'll show normal, right? Make sure to click your towers, right? Sometimes like you want that tower? You want that tower. So those two are in. So you can see a lot of the meta progression. It's going to be towers you can find and unlock, right? Because you can run up to five, right? Currently. And there are also skills, right? This, I was pushing the skill button. I think this is just the basic attack you get. And then as you play the game, this will be, I guess, the meta progression. Component will be the XP points you amass. As you play the game, you can unlock different abilities. Which is interesting, right? I think that's pretty cool. And you start the game, and you're here, right? You're that angel dude now. Seems pretty slow, right? But like space bar. Oh, that's so much faster, right? And you're like, how do you build things, right? Push tab. I'm like, why couldn't I build? Build, build, build. But you have to click on a tile where you want to build, so. I want damage. Damage. And it's using, that's XP. You get each monster you kill, you get one. And then sometimes it'll drop more. And I want one of those slowing ones there that also do damage, but a bit less. And I'll do one there. And that's everything I can spend for now. Once you go in the build mode, time is paused. I can push R. And then see the enemies begin. If that's too fast, but you can just like this is the base speed of the game, I'm just holding down the mouse button and attacking. It's almost almost an auto battler. And I find this a bit too slow though, so this. Oh yeah, that's great. It seems to drop there. That gave me five, and then each one of those I get one. Those guys I find best to avoid because they get shields. They just tanky. They don't shoot at me. Like this is a tower defense game, they're actually shooting me, yeah? And I can take damage. I have three pips of health. Every bit of HP damage I take on normal. It diminishes, it diminishes my health, right? But then, once I drop, like one of those shields on the, on the heavenly gate I'm guarding there would be depleted, right? And if I lose all the shields, I, I die. I failed my task and I'm destroyed, right? Right? Okay. No, it's enough to build another defensive tower, so I'll do that. So they do 10 just like I do. Don't we remember, you don't want to. A lot of this game is target prioritization. You want to aim for those guys, because they shoot fire at you. See how I was dropped and died? And look, a shield fell off. But I can drop one. I can get another one. That's two damage. I can take two damage. So remember, I can always just pause. I need a breath. Right? You don't have to feel rushed. And then when you start again, if you're going fast, it starts you again in... Say, us. Say it starts you in... No, it didn't. It seemed like it did. I was thinking it starts you again slow if you like go into that mode there. Kill the ghosts, because they shoot at you. Ah, uh, dropped me again. So yeah, I lost the shield. Ouch, ouch, that's gonna hurt. Ow, ow, ow. See, they're smashing through the gates. Hmm. See, this is normal, mind you. It's hard. Now, if I die, I actually will lose, because I think. So I have to be careful. So I'm paying attention to multiple things, right? Okay, so you can really concentrate the DP. Oh, I need that, I need that. All right, so right here, I need more damage. And I have to fly around. Okay, that. Because if I hadn't gotten that, if... See, if I, if I, oh, I died again, so I'm going to kill me. Watch. And, uh, so you see, I died. See, it's a tough game, actually. I was like, woof, this is awesome. It's rapid fire. So once your, all your shields are gone, one more gets through, and then you lose, right? So, but, you know, meta progression seems to be a key part of the game, right? That seemed all right. Maybe I need more slowers. And I need more DPS up here in case they slip through. But again, they, they can't, if something's here, the tower here can't shoot them, right? So... I want my towers engaging as quickly as possible. That seems smart, right? The first wave's nothing. So. so. I think this is the special ability you have. The first attack. Okay, I have to tell the wave to start, yeah. Put holes in them. So once they bank that corner, they'll start taking more damage, right? Yeah, focus on these guys. Because they shoot those dancing fireballs at you, they can really hit you. Those guys are just tanky, they have that blue that blue hit point, that's their armor. I wonder if there's gonna be like armor attacking shields. I'll take one. I can take one hit. 
It's not a big deal. Take out the mummies. Keep my money. I'm actually recording. Good, good. That's the thing, like, I lose track of time playing this game. Normally, I don't like tower defense games, so that's... Well, well done, devs, right? That's a lot of tanks. Uh, so they'll concentrate the DPS, right? Just aim for the front one. Right. That'll probably drop him, and then take these guys out. I don't know if you can get like temporary hit points if it goes over. Yeah. Uh, 27, so I need 30 to build. Another shield. The game's almost a horde survival game, or a uh, roguelike. Because it's definitely a roguelike, right? Because we've already shown off the main progression, the different towers you can get, the. It just needs the procedure generation. That'd be cool if you had different paths. I don't know how necessary it is, though. <laughs> ah, see, I just took a hit. But I got it right back, right? You can, you can take a, hit, a little few hits, right? Because you're an angel, right? You're effectively immortal, right? As long as your source of divine power remains, right? You can just be reanimated, brought back, right? But it costs prayer power, right? Or holy power, whatever it is. Whatever we're going with here. Alright, so, yeah. I wasn't paying much attention to that. Do I want... One here. I'll show off the slowing tower, right? This will actually it slows them, right? It's very handy. And it actually deals dam a little bit of damage as well. Not as much. That's not ideal. I'll get through. So this, this feels like the second wave's intended to wipe me. Or normal at least. There's too many of them there. Crap. I'll get through. Ow, ow, ow. No. No. Just not to screw me. No. <laughs> Level fail. Ugh. <sighs> My pride. This is what they've done to me. Make me play on normal. Uneasy. Because as you've seen, the game's hard. And I think it's intended to wipe you because you don't have the skills necessary. Well, we don't... Hmm. I want to bet it's because I need to build up the the meta progression. That's probably what's going on. That's why... Because this is a... I, I suppose I'd call this an action roguelike. Well, a, a tower defense roguelike. A roguelite. Light, light. Because of the, the requirement of the meta progression, right? Because it's necessary. Because I cannot win. Maybe on normal I can. I don't think I make, made a mistake here. But yeah. I'm sorry, the waves, please. There we go. But you see, yeah, it seems like it's tuned that I can't win until I get some uh, mana progression. Like that second wave is going to destroy me. Let me know if I think I'm wrong, but I don't think so. No. On normal, at least. Which is. Mm, I'm less, not super fan of that kind of design aesthetic. Because it just, like, I prefer the more rogue light. I mean, I'm fine with minute progression, it just shouldn't be, it should be like little cherries on top or unlock different styles of play. I think uh, Tales of the Tale, yeah. I think Tales of Magiel, Tome, right? Like, there's minute progression in Tome, but it's a traditional roguelike, right? What it means is you unlock different classes. And these classes aren't necessarily stronger. The basic starting classes, the basic starting classes, the initial starting classes are strong. But they just offer additional ways of playing, right? That core there's too high, I think, in sound. There we go, I can build something here. I think... Put something there so we can finish him for me. See, some of the, all of the enemies feel different, right? You got the super tanky guys, you got the ones who shoot the ghosts who shoot that, or the, the goopy guys who shoot those wild dancing things, but they're pretty squishy. What's this? Ow. I have four health somehow. Oh, I'm in easy. Okay, so I have more health. And then I guess when I drop, I don't actually lose anything. So it's a lot easier, actually. Noticeably easier. Like, normal in this game felt like hard in any other game, I'd say. Which just feels a bit too easy, right? This is where I'd recommend people start playing the game. <laughs> Alright, so I gotta have to build another one. I should probably slow them. I can't need one more kill. No, 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 I need to, in fact, uh, well, I'll slow him around the bend. That seems smart. Oh, I think that other thing disappeared. I don't like that. I don't like it when drops disappear. That doesn't feel good. I don't watch that. I want to go get it really bad, but if it dis I want to see if it disappears. I'm trying to watch it. Oh my god, it disappeared. Yeah, that's horrible. Yeah, stuff disappearing like that, a lot of people don't like that. 
Let it, let it remain. Make a strategic decision when you pick it up. Like, ouch, that hurts. Disappearing loot really hurts. The Smith is a good position, but it forces me to blast these tanky things, which a lot of times aren't worth bothering me. Well, they do drop those, though, so maybe they are. Well, I think here... Another one low. Ah, kill me again. Kill these guys. See, they don't have as much stiff as the chin on them, so they should drop. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Now, that would have killed me if I was on normal. Oh, God. Huge wave. This is meant to wipe you. On normal, it's manageable. But... Uh, on hot, I'm sorry. On this difficulty they call easy, it's still gonna kill me. Watch. Oh, 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 maybe not. Maybe, no, 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 it's still gonna... Oh, oh my god, almost. It didn't kill me. <laughs> God damn. Yeah, it seems like the demo's not very tuned well right now, but I want to show it off because even this early, early point is fun. It's crazy hard, and it needs real balancing, but it's fun. Uh, where's, where's the gap? I mean, I need damage on them as quickly as possible, right? I don't think I'm wrong with that. Massive focus on damage is correct, I think. These guys, right? Tell bum bum bum. Hmm. Something else I realized. I can push R and trigger the wave early if I want. I mean, it's probably not something I should do, but I can do it. I guess I like teleport them in or something faster. Having tires of waiting. Bring on the apocalypse, that kind of thing. Now I can build some more. I need to slow these guys down. See, these tanky guys, what they do is they tie me down. I've already focused on the DPS on killing him, so I'm not going to do it. Yeah. Get okay, another one. Pretty much like don't have to stop, stop firing, right? Because it's. Don't get that. I don't know why I wasn't firing when I was there. You seen that? I think it's a bug. I can't fire when I'm sitting here. Weird. Yeah. See, when I died, I didn't take uh, any off the Heaven's Gate, right? Yeah, Heaven's Gate. The Holy Palace, if you call it. Right. Even, even without that. I don't know if I'm doing better or not. Feels like I am. At a certain point, you just have to realize all the shields do their thing, right? You, as you, they get lower, they... It seems like they drop more often. Now, obviously, you stop firing for three seconds when you drop. I tested that on normal. I'm pretty sure it's the same on um, this easy mode I'm on. This is, this is not easy mode. This, is, this feels normal to me. Even at this point, it does not feel like an easy game. It's not an easy game. It's a hard game. That's, those skeletons aren't going to kill me, but these guys might. I've got another shield there. You know, purposing the hellish energy for good. Yeah. <sighs> this is going to kill me. Ah, you bastard. Alright, snare them. Ouch, ouch. Ah, I was too slow getting to that. You see? That's how finely tuned it is. Ow. <sighs> I mean, let's just, for completeness' sake, let's just be full on masochist mode. Guys, I wonder if it's increasing difficulty adding towers or not. No, I don't think so. It's not costing me anything. I have. I can learn Holy Wave. I, I'm guessing that the game is balanced to, to need these things. Increased players' movement speed. Yeah, that's kind of a big deal. Yeah, that's kind of a big deal. That's huge, actually. That would have just saved me. So I'll try normal again with a slight movement speed buff. I'm telling, I'm guessing. 
Okay, when I re reset, I did that accidentally. It gives me the points back. Thank you. But now I'm probably at least, I don't know, 5% faster maybe? We couldn't go 10. Let's see, so I think I'm going to fortify the center. Because they all have to go down the center, right? That seems smart. I just cluster it to DPS burst things down. Yeah, I'm noticeably faster, at least 10%. Could be 15. We've already learned those disappear, unfortunately, so we'll get them quickly. That was worth six kills, right? So, worth it. So, yeah, the towers did most of my work for me. But look at how tanky these guys are, too. There we go. And I'm not going to build yet. There's no build time, per se, so I don't feel the need to rush. But if I... Yeah, it's not loud. If I know it'll come this way, I'm going to drop this, right? That's fine. It does seem like the shield guys are more likely to drop shields. <laughs> makes sense, right? It makes perfect sense. I, ooh, I wonder if the shield guys should take more damage from behind. That makes sense, right? So you're encouraged to engage certain enemies different ways. I mean, you can give the ghosts like a chance to gain attacks because they're a theorem, right? That can get frustrating, I suppose. Some kind of damage resistance, maybe. What do I want? <laughs> I mean, putting something here is uh, helps at the end. If you need it, right? I'm doing a lot better. I'm on normal, mind you. The cluster DPS is the way to go. Like, you only build a snare thing if you deeply need it. I don't know how much DPS that adds. Like, the other ones attack too, the slayering ones, but they take a lot slower. I mean, I kind of want it all concentrated here. Concentrate the damage. It kind of softens everything up. Right. You just have to trust your own defenses. Well, are they enough? I need that. See, I don't even think the, the things drop if make the shields drop if you're not at full. Like, if you're at full, it's not gonna drop, right? Which, again, it should drop, right? So that's why stuff shouldn't disappear, right? You can have stuff on the floor, right? So the floor can effectively serve as your inventory, right? So see, I, that dropped because it could, because I had damage to a heal, right? But it should drop anyway, right? So you, that way you can have honest drops, right? A shield could have, like, I don't know, whatever drop rate it normally is. I suppose you could have drop more if you're injured. I think the thing is, you know, finished. Ah, okay, do I have to heal. And what do I want here? I want more blasting. Ah, yeah. Whatever. There we go. Another one here. And right here, I. Uh, I'll slow the map for a kick up. See, see, I was clicking there and I wasn't getting anything. I don't know if it's a bug or what. Snare them all. And then I can take. No, I can't take that, so I have to stop these guys now. Where are those? Crap. Crap, got me. And I think right there is that little bug that stopped me from attacking after I tried to build. That's what killed me. I'm certain of that. It's like little things, right? You can't be angry about it. It's a super early demo, but still. So, from what I've seen, build here. That's like the solution here. Concentrate your fire. If they get past it, you need to, well, get up past it yourself, right? This guy, these guys now. Did I just crit? I think there's a crit on that. It's pretty funny. The odds I'm seeing are, it's not like 5%. It's gotta be like low odds and it has to confirm it or something. It certainly seems like I crit for 50. <laughs> That's what it looked like to me. I like that. It's interesting. It's much more better than 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, Always doing 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. That's not, that's not exciting. <laughs> I mean, 10 damage all the time is the opposite of cutting. But it's a fun game, even when you're losing, right? That's that's a good thing. What do I want? Uh, I hate building something here. I don't want to build something there. I want to build something there. Concentrate the DPS. <laughs> See, once I slip past me like that. Can really mess you up. So 
the game does a really good job not just making each pixel enemy very readable, right? So, but tap, and what damage you place. Make an enemy, each enemy feel different because they have different attacks. They, they physically look very different, right? So I was saying shield guys, we're gonna take more damage from behind, right? And give me like a damage roll. Because I'm always doing tens a bit. Then I'm interested. See, you can tell I'm on the normal mode because I lost one shield. One shield spawned, as I suspected. Like that's only gonna happen if, if the it's not the fortress is not not full, right? Heavenly fortress. Tab build and music's getting a little bombastic. That's fine. I'd almost like the speed mode to be like a game setting you select ahead of time. So you're not always slowing it down. And then the, the space bar could be like some kind of dash or something. So you're almost incentivized to let yourself take one hit at the point of damage. I need to focus fire on him. So, ouch, 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 he's hurt me three times. That's funny. Because the ones that are gonna kill you well, are actually the shielding guys, the tanky ones. So, not gonna chin off them's the thing. Oh, these guys now. Oh. Time to build, time to build. Alright, right now I want... I can't afford it. can't afford what I want. Alright, so tap. At this point, I have to slow them as they go around the corner. I can probably kill this guy. You know, if this is going to be like a slow thing, I almost want like a... I'm going to do like an EVE Online thing, a time dilation thing. So I'm not in control of it. That can kill me. I was, I was a hair of a second off that time. You see how how tight it is? Yeah, definite roguelite, roguelite, because the meta progression is required, right? Uh, let's, for our giggles, try hard. Oh my god! And I, yeah, you keep the so obviously like massively increasing your damage really help you. Speed helped a little. Can I level that up? Nah, should my uh, more money out? May help meta progression. Additional charges of the ability Holy Wave. I don't have any charges of Holy Wave, so I don't know. Maybe they're going to plan that. Well, oh. Oh, with heart I have one hit point. <laughs> and this will be quick. I mean, we've learned, and I probably get less to build with as well. Yeah, this is going to be painful. And the, their projectiles move faster. I mean, it feels tough. I like tough games, but... This is gonna be impossible. I know it is. I can, I won't. They won't wipe me first wave. Maybe second. Look how fast everything is. Jesus. I right, look at that. That's intense. Like I want. I want to do like a roll on damage, right? 10, 10, 10. It's not very interesting. I want to do more. I want to do more damage. Give me a roll. 50. See, I crit another one. I crit that goopy thing. That's nice. It feels good to crit. You know, honestly, I don't think I'm really going to notice so much the one hit point thing, because the more I die, I take one hit, fine. It, no shoot for three seconds, okay. But what that means is I'm going to see more shields drop, so it doesn't effectively really matter much. I'll have to look again with what how much harder it actually makes things beyond um, give me one hit point. But beyond that, like, and I like to play fast, right? Because otherwise, I find it too slow. Even if I might play technically a little bit better if I was playing slower. I just find it more interesting, more engaging. Ah, crap. See, it didn't help. It just made me move slower. Uninteresting. Thank you, game. Yeah, just give me like a dash or something, or a special ability. Like, speeding up. Oh, yeah, okay, well. Well, you need some shield fluid. So it feels a bit like a bullet hell now. I got enough to build something. I'll slow them down, actually. Like a time dilation thing kicking in. That'd be cool. I think it's gonna give you control over it or something. And then they'll block you, actually. Please die. Ugh, god damn it. <laughs> that took the hit anyway, of course it did. If that's how it happens, then this is where I die, right? Because I have, like, no special ability. If I had, like, a special... I just died. Because my life was tied to the fortress and I... That was it. 
hard. I mean, it gives you more money, so it's actually a thing to grind, I guess. Angel helps connect to the gate. Enemy attack speed modifier. They attack 0.5% uh, faster, so 50% faster. And they bullet shovel faster. Uh, do I get anything cool to play with? I'll try normal one more time. Currently, I think that's the only level in the demo. Hmm. Of course, I'm short of the one thing I really want to try. The, the one little bit of made progression, I think that would let me keep going. But even at this early state, I think the game's worth showing off. But I'd argue to dev, so I can... You want to make a generous demo, a big demo, right? Make them want more, but at the same time, make it feature complete, right? Well, not, you know, demo, feature complete for a demo, right? Make the demo beatable. Like, this, de this demo is not beatable unless you climb to the top of the mid progression, right? That's like a thing with mid progression. You can't. A lot of mid progression set up so you're not gonna win the first time. You probably won't anyway, but even in like, if it's just a roguelite, but potentially you could, right? That's not just like a DPS thing. Here it's, I'm pretty sure it's a DPS thing. Ah, uh, what do I wanna do? Snaring. No, I, I just, like, don't overthink it. Just. Concentrate DPS. That's how you do it. And put a hole in that guy. That's probably enough to take him out. And take out these guys. They'll take shots at me. Because this was here. See? That almost was enough. And I can just finish it myself. See, even if I've done, like, nothing but lose, pretty much. Well, I, there's a little bit of made progression, but... It's fun. I want... I want more DPS. I mean, the, snow, the slowing is cool, but, like, maybe later game, if you get there, the slowing would be more useful than the DPS. But I deal 10, right? Each turret deals 10, so it magnifies. So if I have five turrets on the thing and I'm shooting them, that's 60 damage a second, right? Maybe fire every second or half second? I mean, I fire. I think it seems twice a second, just if I feel. So you see how, how helpful the DPS, though? You just put them through the murder zone. I think there's an element of procedure generation in terms of what mobs are going to be exactly be in each invasion army. But I died again. Okay, it's fine. I was dropped. Okay. All right. So okay, here. Come on. Now at this point, I I do wish to snare them just a little. So I don't. They're gonna kill me. I'm gonna get that for you. some point engaging the rest of them, they're gonna get through. See? It gets lower and more chance of dropping good stuff, right? Of getting a shield. I see. Snares are very helpful, actually, at this point. But first, these guys. Uh, tab. Had to hit twice there. At this point, I just need more DPS. Ow, please stop killing me. Oh, give me that. Give me that. Of course you got through anyway. Thank you. And this is where I die. Yep. I just don't have the DPS for it. I don't have the required made of progression to progress, which is unfortunate. But even at this early point, Other War is pretty cool. The really cool tower defense, bullet hell, action rogue light. Mm. At lacking made of progression, at least from what I've seen. Well, lacking procedural generation, but obviously made of progression in the forms of the skills and the towers you can unlock. Anyway, I think it's pretty cool. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Bye.